drama with random people. What's up everybody and welcome back to Adam Tyler World. Thank you for joining me today. If you do me a real quick favor, just like this video. I'd really appreciate it. We got three Funkos. We got two packages today. I think I know which Funkos these are. I'm not entirely sure. I ordered these from GameStop in January. The Ric Flair, the Eddie Guerrero, the China, Drew McIntyre, all those other kind of Funkos. And the Ric Flair one just shipped to me. As I told you before in another video, it just shipped to me. It just showed up at my door. And, oh, okay. I didn't get any notification from GameStop. Luckily, on these two packages, I got a uh, notification the other day and told me, hey, these are shipping. So I'm pretty sure I know which ones these are, but I don't know for sure. So we're going to find out right now, shall we? Got a little bit of a table going on right here. So if these are the ones I think they are, I could have gotten these the other day because I saw them at a 7-Eleven when I got my 7-Eleven Stone Cold Steve Austin Funko Pops. But I figured these are already on the way and I didn't want to buy them up and try to resale them because it's just, it's a hassle. A lot of times people don't even want these, these uh, Funkos and I can't open this for squat. I'm trying not to puncture through too badly because I don't want to cut the Funko. All right, put the knife off to the side. All right, so we got a little bit of paperwork. We have two Funkos in here. We got this protective stuff. I do appreciate GameStop doing this. Uh, there's a little bit of damage on the side of the box. There's a little bit of damage on this box, but I don't think it's gonna transfer over to the Funko, but we'll find out right now. So we'll actually open that one first, shall we? So we got a little bit of a dent right there. Oh! Hope it doesn't, they say, go over to the Funko Pop. Up, and this Funko is China. The ninth wonder of the world. I think that's what they used to call her. Don't treat me like a woman. Don't treat me like a man. Number 85. We're gonna open up and see what it looks like. As everybody knows, they came out with a China Signature Series title belt on WWE Shop a couple months ago. I did not get it. I will not be getting it unless if WWE Shop gives it to me, which they will never do. So we take her out of the case. There we go. She has one of those little stands right there. You can kind of see it. I'm not going to put it on right now just because it's a little bit of a hassle. But um, it does. I do appreciate that. That way they don't fall as easily. So let's look at her, shall we? So she's got, of course, the black top, the black bottom, the black shoes. She's got the little studs or rivets on her right there. I like how they did her hair. Looks pretty cool right there where they got it stacked up on top of each other. It could have just been a plain whatever, but they actually went the extra mile. She still doesn't have a mouth, but I guess WWE they want her to talk, even though she's dead now, unfortunately. There we go. That's China for you. So if you want to see her naked with X-Pac, apparently she has a sex tape. I haven't looked for it. I will not look for it. But if you're interested, you can look for it. And make sure you use our sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. <laughs> ExpressVPN is not sponsoring this video. All right. So there we go. That's the first Funko. China. It's China. It's the China virus. All right. Next Funko. I think I know who this one is too, but I don't know. Okay, confuse me for a second. There we go. We've got the former WWE Champion, Drew McIntyre. He will be facing Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania, apparently for the WWE Championship belt. I like Drew McIntyre, he seems like a good guy. I don't know if the fact that COVID had anything to do with it, but he really didn't do much of anything this year while he had the championship. He, they had him beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, and nothing came of it, really. He was the champion for a little while. He beat some people, but whatever. All right. He does not have a foot thing. For whatever reason, I do it. I've only seen on the women. That's the only option I've ever seen any Funko with a little foot stand thing. I wish they did on all of them. Because look, his feet aren't much wider apart than China's. China. All right. So we got him. It looks kind of like a male version of China, to be honest with you. you got black shorts he's got the vest instead of a black top he's got knee pads he's got the black boots he's got his hand right here he's doing the I'm a little teapot short and stout here is my handle here is my spout i don't know why they did that to him but whatever he's got the goatee he's got the long hair i don't know he doesn't have a goatee he has a beard he has a beard adam he has a goatee connected to a beard 
So there we go, we got a little bit of... I'm not licking his... wetting his crotch, that's his leg. But yeah, there's something going on with his leg. If you can see, kind of green stuff. Clearly, Funko is just going, forget it, just put him in there, just pump him out, we gotta get him out. Don't get me wrong, I would love to be as ripped as he is and as the size of him, that'd be awesome. I could get a lot more chicks that way. So I'm not hating on him, but he just, in his basically almost years WWE champion, not much happened. And once again, that could have been because of COVID. I don't know. All I do know is this box is empty. All right, now the second box. Careful, careful. Did that do it? Once again, being careful because I don't want to cut the Funko Pop. I collect these things. All right, so here's the box. Paperwork. And another thing, GameStop, if they would have been taking care of this stuff, this came from the same spot. They shipped the same day, but they shipped them in two different boxes. They could have shipped them in one box. Maybe it would have been cheaper. Anyway, we got this stuff that's always fun to pop. Sorry for deafening anyone. We have Uno Funko in here. That means one O Funko. Let's see, no damage to the box. That's a pretty good sign. There we go. The third, oh heck yeah, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I say heck yeah because I like to keep the language down. Uh, I had some guy comment on the previous video with the Stone Cold Steve Austin was saying, I should just cuss more or, or say, oh, yeah. And uh, I was like, no, I like to keep the language down. He's like, oh, don't watch my videos. I probably won't. Epic burn. Then he posted the screen capture of that part. Most of the conversation, he put the first part on his Instagram. I screen captured it and then he deleted it. So what's up with that guy? Anyway, drama with random people. Here we go. This is, oh, oh, okay. See, I didn't know what that was. I didn't know which title he was holding. I thought, because he had the other version, which like a whole... <laughs> okay, that scared me. <laughs> All right, so we have this one where I have before where he has the WWE Championship and the Tag Team Championship. This one, he has the Smoking Skull Belt. It's kind of hard to tell up close, but that is the Smoking Skull Belt for sure. So he's got the uh, 316 on the side of his vest. He's got the black, uh, black uh, vest. He's got the blue jeans and the black short, or black shoes, I can't speak correctly. And uh, once again, there's nothing on the back. It's just plain black. Put the smoking skull on the back, man, or something. Put it like, make it more realistic, whatever. But that is kind of cool that they have the smoking skull belt right there. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just like the tag team title or the WWE Championship, but nope. It is the smoking skull belt. Oh, heck yeah. I don't know if you're getting any of the Funkos, if you can let me know down below if you have any of these Funkos on the way or if they've arrived already. I'm gonna show the Funkos that I got today, right here. Not in the proper order. What's number 86? Oh, okay, so if you look right here on the back, I still have to get Otis and Edge. Edge's name is actually Adam, which is my name. But there we go, we got 84, 85, and 87. We just gotta get Otis and Edge. And we put you caught up. I got the Macho Man coming. Thankfully, somebody on Facebook said that that uh, sent the link for it to get restocked at Walmart, and I was able to grab it. And hopefully, it'll be here tomorrow, and I will make a video about that. But once again, that is it for the video today. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And as always, I seriously do appreciate it. We're almost at 4,000 people. Until next time, peace.